Welcome. I am going to walk you through on how to export a student list using the PowerSchool Gradebook program. My name is Maureen Pagilia. I'm a blended learning mentor from the Twin Falls School District. If you have not done so yet, you need to open up PowerSchool. Once you're in PowerTeacher or PowerSchool, you will run your gradebook. If this is the first time opening up Gradebook, you'll have to run through the installer once. That's this right here. After you've done that, then next time you come around, all you have to do is hit the launch button. Once you open up your Gradebook, it will open up with generally your first period, your class schedule, the season, the quarter, year, month. You could check change the years on that. Um, if you've done more than one school, you'd see them here. Most in general, we have just one school we work at. And we go on. Now, to run a report, you're going to click on the word reports. In reports, you're going to want to maybe collect for exporting the student IDs and their names, you're going to want to export or run a report on student report function. In this function, I like to always export it because running a report in a PDF file, it does not allow you to manipulate the data as you need. I also like to, to export my active classes. That means I'll export all of the classes I have listed over here. Okay, now to choose the things you would like to have. So to export for the function of importing student names and IDs into Brain Honey or Buzz, you're going to want to hit the export button, the CSV, which will get it into a spreadsheet, and you're going to want to select active classes. It's easy to delete classes like your student teacher where they're not in the classroom. And from there, you're going to select what info you want to export. Now, this is also a nice way to do an, an open house where you can have the parents' names, phone number, email, and then leave a spot for them to sign. So they're verifying their date, their information while they're verifying that they're there for open house. The purpose of what we need, though, is just a student name, student number. I also did grade level just to help clear up any confusions when importing students. Now, here is the big trick. Come over to layout. In the layout button, you generally have this option highlighted because it will page break on selections. Nevertheless, it's not very good to do that when you're exporting a file of CVS or SV, sorry, because it will not keep it as one file. So unselect it, and when you run your report, you will now be able to get the spreadsheet of their student names, numbers, grade levels and then it will automatically whoops sorry automatically put you with the headings of what grade period it is in and hit run report it will open up the report I'm going to say cancel because I've already opened it up and for the safety of my students I've made their names and IDs white so it will open up in this format. So for example, this would be my student name and their number from period one. Going down, I have my teacher's aid. Well, to delete that is very simple. You click there on the side, keep your finger down, highlight that area, and then right click and delete now that person has gone and I'm left with just my class periods 
That is also really helpful if you're not going to import your um, prime time students. You can delete them from this list. At this point, save it. File, save as, and send this to the tech person who is going to import the students into Buzz and Brain Honey. Again, thank you very much. I am Maureen Pagilia. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me. Pagilia, M-A, at tfsd.org. Thank you, and I hope that this helped you export a student list in PowerSchool Gradebook.